Here I am in my chair again. It's Sunday, and I'm glad that you made it in to this class. And as I mentioned last week in the check-in, this class is <clears throat> was put together with these things in mind. Okay, um, that I wanted to put together a true management class that those people that are getting into small business, small business can be as big as. 10, 20 million dollars, by the way, and that's uh, millions of dollars um, for an ag operation is not unusual, neither is hundreds of thousands. So I'm talking about all of you when I uh, refer to small business, but there were certain things that we never went through in college or any training or anything like that, and it was just trial by fire and trial by error. <laughs> so, um, not that I was the best at it, but I did learn a few tricks of the trade, and I'd like to just pass them on to you. As we uh, go through this course, there's some important applications that would be in most management classes that are included in this class. This is an initial management class, possibly. You'll go into another finance class later on that will take these some of these to a higher depth and add a few more tools into your toolbox. But that's enough of that. We're talking about decision making. I want you to key in on how important decision making and how you make your decisions is so, so important and it's directly related to your mission statement. Each week in this course may seem like it's if topically and title wise may seem like it's unrelated but they're actually tied together at the end of the semester you should be able to tell me what's your business mission statement if I ask it you should be able to tell me what is your personal mission statement how does it relate to how you you are making decisions within your company and with your employees and with your finances so anyway enough of that one last thing is that one one thing i'd ask you because it's already um, been used once but um, if uh, you get sick you have a death in the family something a tr you get a, have a tragedy i mean these are things that are life events all of us go through them i'm not minimizing your event or my event if I were to uh, have a death in the family and say I can't cover class um, and I'll be gone, um, I will tell you that. I will tell you that directly. And that's one of the things that I expect from you. I don't, you sure go through the proper channels on lower campus and uh, have them send me a note, that's fine, but I expect to hear from you, okay? That's you're going to be held accountable and responsible from this point on and probably always have been. You ag kids, I was one of them at one time. And uh, we're, we're, we're held to a higher standard. And I'm going to hold you to a higher standard. If I don't hear directly from you, um, doesn't mean it didn't happen, but it does, uh, I will expect, that you will call me directly um, at the very least. And as I said last time, a call is for the urgency, okay? It's the day before. You may not catch me, but uh, a, a lesson is due. You call me. Don't text message me. Don't email me. Um, I'm not saying don't, okay? Hopefully you'll do that. But... Um, those are the the most urgency comes from number one a phone call a text is quite a ways down there but number two an email is uh, right there with um, a text very important nice to know i can pick it up when i come back in from a backcountry camp that i'm uh, guiding at i can you know type something out Actually, the camp I'm going into for September is going to have Starlink, so um, I don't get to check it every day. We're uh, we're all on solar, 
they do conserve power and so I can't just sit on the computer so I'll try to have everything um, up and going for you um, the second thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that as we get rolling this class and real soon okay I am going to open up a bunch of lessons and I do this for a couple of reasons one is for you many of you are involved in rodeo judging and other school activities okay <laughs> excuse me <laughs> life happens doesn't it um, so you're involved in all these activities you have a schedule generally your coach lets you know when they are and you can put them on your calendar okay so you can plan ahead so you can get ahead in this class it's not like this is not a class that's like going in the classroom where you go Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sit there for an hour and then maybe have a lab sometime during the week. Um, when you have time to do it, before it's due, you can get it done. And I'll have up to maybe up to four or five lessons open at a time as we get going into the semester. I just wanted to get you to get used to um, how maybe a little bit about my teaching style, what I expect, all those kinds of things before we get to roll. So if you have any questions about that, um, and, and one thing, I, and I, I've already been helped by a student. Um, we had duplicates for the forum, um, and so I'll have to grade each forum, no big deal on my side. But uh, that shouldn't happen. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> and uh, so if you give me grace, I'll give you grace. Is that a deal? I hope so. Um, but uh, due dates are important. Deadlines are important. Um, I can't keep up with it unless um, my students and I, we're, a, we're a community here. So I, I need you to follow the, uh, the schedule. If you want if you're on campus or it works for your schedule where you just take a week and you focus on it that's fine if you can get two or three lessons done within a week I'm good with that too okay whatever your learning style is um, is uh, is great for me one of the things that uh, you'll find out once you're out of college you'll probably never take a semester or two semesters, or three or four, when, such as an associate's degree, and uh, learn an extra skill to put into your toolbox. You will take a couple week course or a three day seminar and say, I need this or I'm not gonna survive, or I can be better at what I'm, I'm doing. And I will, it'll help my business, it'll help whether it's counseling, Maybe it'll help your marriage, whatever, as you get on into this thing. So, But you won't be learning as a, a semester at a time. It'll say, sometimes you think you're in college and you got the fire hose with information coming at you and you got your mouth wide open, but that's not the case. When, when you get out of this institution, that's when, when the learning really starts. Take advantage of the time you got here and now. Okay, so that'll help you get ahead. If you're on a trip, you're going to Kansas City, uh, you're going to Denver. Um, I guess that's not till January, but uh, if you're a rodeo um, in the entered in, in rodeos, get them done early, and that uh, takes all the anxiety out of the way, and you don't have to worry about it. You're up on Friday, and your homework's due. But, and you haven't done it yet. You haven't looked at it all week. You've got all week to do it. Quizzes. Remember, quizzes and forums are due the week they're due. Period. End of story. They're still open. I'll look at them, but you don't get a grade for them. Okay? Thirdly, the assignments, I will give you up to 75% if you complete that even a week later. So the following Friday, you get it in there by then. I'm not in encouraging you to actually 
take me up on that, get it in. And uh, you'll find uh, that uh, you'll be very successful, I would think. And if you need any help, give me a call, text me, or email me, okay? I appreciate you. I enjoy this class. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know.